So I'm going to look at another mechanism for um, drawing piriform curve. Let me share uh, GX Web, the tool we're going to use um, to model the mechanism. Um, we start on this model with um, a line offset from the axes. We make an infinite line here and we'll give it um, a distance from the y axis. of A, uh, the distance between two lines specifies both the distance and the fact that the, the two lines are parallel. Um, now, this uh, mechanism, we have a line goes from here from the origin um, to this one, and we have The mechanism is such that we have a, a line constrained um, to be perpendicular to, to this. So in other words, parallel with the x-axis. And we have another one perpendicular to that. So CB is perpendicular to CB. And then we constrain C to run around a circle. Uh, so one way of doing that is specifying the distance there is going to be R. And then we can drive the whole thing by the angle of that um, uh, member AC, uh, theta. And so as we move that around D, um, follows a curve and that's the curve that we're going to be tracing. Uh, so we do the locus as theta varies of that and that gives us our piriform curve. Um, let's have a look at this equation. Select it and get its name as we can know it. Um, but there we see its equation. Um, now, there's a second form of this piriform curve in the book. Um, it's a special form when uh, this is the form when A is bigger than R. Um, if A is uh, equal to R, um, the curve takes this form. And of course, the equation um, replaces A with R 